This is the new leaf growth on Calathea and there were several new growths and new baby plant growth also these days on this monsoon. Calathea plants have their beauty on their leaves. Flowers grow in some species of Calathea but very rarely. Even I didn't know that Dracaena can grow flowers but to my surprise flowers did bloom on my Dracaena plant. You can go through that video to watch the flowers. You can click the link at the end of the video. Every plant have their personal drawbacks or particular hacks you can say like milligbug attack on hibiscus, leaf fall on ficus triangularis, root rot in impatient plant, rose dieback disease and here in Calathea is leaf curl and turning yellow and drying. How will you know that leaves are drying due to aging or it's abnormally drying? Very simple, after one leaf dry then again second one on the alternate day and goes on and on. Be sure that's the problem. But here in my case these are all the old leaves. Want to tell you another secret that I always have to pay so much attention on hybrid vinca that other plants are neglected. I sometimes think that why should I pay 80% of my effort on vinca. Better not keep such a delicate plant in my garden. Let's know why leaf curl and dry on Calathea plant. First you should know that it's completely manageable. One of my viewers said that she bought the plant several times but was dying every time. Let's follow few rules for Calathea. First, never keep the plant under sunlight only when temperature is below 18 degrees Celsius. It's a completely shade loving plant. Exposure of sunlight may be the first cause of leaf drying. Second cause may be due to watering. Overwatering usually do not harm but less watering may be the cause for yellow dry leaf. This Calathea pot was under rain for some days but no root rot problem occurred. No yellowing of leaves also. There has formed so much green algae which has to be removed or there is blockage on the tiny holes and hindrance for good aeration. The third cause for yellowing of leaves can be due to irregular water regime. The Calathea plants need a regular shower. Even if the soil is moist, do not water the soil but mist the leaves. Pot cause can be due to water stagnation. Do not let the potting soil to hold much water for long. Hence use much pebbles or stones underneath pot and garden soil mixed with coarse river sand. Leaf compost, neem extract, some charcoal crush. You can use coco peat, the city with less rain and high temperatures. As I cleaned the pot, removed the dried leaves, will spray neem oil today. I have planned for the total care of Calathea and so sharing with you all. This is the 5 litre spraying bottle, add 10 ml neem oil and 2 spoon liquid detergent. Mix well with 5 litre water and now I shall spray this mixture to the Calathea plant. Fifth cause for leaf drying can be due to excess fertilizer use. I will always suggest not to use much fertilizer for the non-flowering plants but can be used twice on the life cycle of the plant once during spring and second during October. So the neem oil is being sprayed on the Calathea plant. All I can say about Calathea that it's not a fussy plant but it's easy to grow. Only you have to keep in mind that the plant needs lot of humidity, warmth and moderate temperature and it's a monsoon growing plant. Here my neighbor kept it under open sky raining 8 months continuously. No root rot, no problem. I was surprised to find the begonias even alive. They were all drenched for last 7 months. However, I have experienced that Calathea grows pretty well under rain shower but removed from sunlight when there was sunshine. This is the base of the plant, clean and clear. We should also keep the base clean and carefully dig the soil for oxygen flow. But where the plants grow rhizomes, the soil digging may cause harm to the baby plants. Only if you have space, then only you dig the soil. We'll add vermicompost to the plant tomorrow, not today. The soil is moist, will not add water today. The plant has very rare pest attack, spray neem oil as shown on the video. In any case, if your plant is dying and you cannot stop leaf yellowing or drying of the leaves, friends don't hesitate, take out the plant from the pot, change the soil and yes, the nursery clay soil sometimes remain attached like fevicol to the plant, which is poison for the plant. 
Remove that soil. Cut away the dried leaves. Remove the damaged part and place the plant to a new potting soil. Do not disturb the plant. Keep it under shade but bright light and also amongst other plants. Let it acclimatize itself with the ambience and I am sure you will surely succeed to keep the plant alive. Understand your plant and enjoy your gardening. Don't panic with your plants. I am there to help you out. Hope this video will surely help you to grow Calathea ornata on your garden. Stay tuned with my channel. Please do subscribe, like and share. Lots of love from Garden Hill. Stay happy and healthy. Bye-bye.